Let's take a look at some of the tools for working with XSLT in XML Spy. XML Spy supports XSLT 1.0, as well as the powerful new XSLT 2 specification from the World Wide Web Consortium. XML Spy provides award winning features for XSLT editing, transformation, debugging, and profiling. Most developers prefer to use XML Spy's text view for XSLT editing, though we can also work in grid view. The same intelligent editing features highlighted in the XML editing demo are available for XSLT development. These include syntax coloring, line numbering, source folding, bookmarking, code completion, and more. XML Spy includes built-in knowledge of XSLT that provides intelligent entry helpers that pop up as you type or that can be selected from entry helper windows. And when we insert an element that includes child elements, XML Spy's code completion functionality automatically inserts these in our document as well. In addition to these intelligent XSLT editing features, XML Spy provides tools for working with XPath 1.0 and 2.0 expressions, which are used in XSLT style sheets to select XML nodes. These tools include the XPath Builder and the XPath Analyzer. Please view the XPath Flash demo to see these features in action. Once our XSLT document is complete, we can choose an XSLT processor to execute the transformation. Under Tools, Options, XSL, we can select the award-winning, standards-conformant Altova XSLT processor. This processor supports XSLT 1.0 transformations, as well as schema-aware XSLT 2.0 transformations. In addition, XML Spy provides built-in support for the MSXML XSLT engine, and its open XSLT architecture also allows us to use any other external XSLT processor inside XML Spy. The choice of processor is entirely up to you. For this example, let's click OK to use the built-in Altova XSLT processor. Let's transform an XML instance document using the org chart XSLT file from the XML Spy example project. The org chart XML file is already associated with this XSLT file in the XML Spy project view, but we can easily select any other style sheet using the assign XSL command. To execute the transformation, we select XSL transformation or hit the F10 key. XML Spy transforms our XML document based on the rules defined in the XSLT style sheet, and we can view the results in browser view. If there were any problems with the transformation results, we could track them down using the XSLT debugger. When we select Start Debugger from the XSL menu, XML Spy opens three panes, one that contains the XML instance document, one that contains the XSLT style sheet, and a third that will display our output as it is built in real time. Under these panes are Context and Call Stack windows which will supply the necessary debugging details. Using the XSLT debugger, we can move through the XSLT transformation step by step, and we can step into, step out of, and step over nodes. We can also insert breakpoints and trace points in the XML or XSLT files using the debugger toolbar. Breakpoints allow us to stop the debugger whenever a particular node is accessed by any XSLT instruction, for example, during the execution of an XSL for each loop. When the debugger stops on a breakpoint, it highlights the current instruction in the XSLT style sheet, the current node in the XML file, and the output produced for each step. It also displays all the relevant information for that node in the context and call stack windows. This allows us to immediately understand how our style sheet is rendering the XML data and track down and fix problems quickly. Trace points also allow us to see the output of XSLT instructions. However, instead of halting the debugger like a breakpoint, the trace point simply returns the output of an instruction in the trace window without stopping the transformation. 
we can add and delete breakpoints and trace points directly inside the XSLT document. Or we can open the breakpoint trace point dialog to edit or remove breakpoints and trace points, and even set trace points for XPath values. With these breakpoints and trace points in the XSLT debugger, you can see exactly how each XSLT instruction is rendering the output allowing you to troubleshoot and perfect your XSLT code quickly. Another tool for optimizing your XSLT style sheets is the XML Spy XSLT 2.0 Profiler. The XSLT Profiler monitors and records detailed metrics for each processing instruction executed during an XSLT transformation. Let's turn on XSLT 2.0 Profiling using the XSL menu and select Hit Count Profiling. Now when we transform a file, the XSLT profiler displays detailed metrics including hits, duration, descendants, and XPath values. These are displayed for each XSL variable, parameter, and template. You can expand or collapse the results and view them in a list or a tree view and clicking on any function highlights its location in the associated file. Using this information, we can see which parts of the code are taking the longest time and optimize any problem areas or bottlenecks. All the intelligent XSLT editing, transformation, debugging, and profiling capabilities of XML Spy help you write and optimize your XSLT code more quickly and easily than ever before.